So we're going to talk about our needle to plunger timing. Very first thing we need to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to push up on our trip arm. And now that way our needles will go ahead and engage. Now we're going to move and we're going to crawl up into inside of the, the bell chamber. So now as we're up inside the bell chamber here, our plunger is going to move the, towards the back here. So we're going to refer to these pieces right here as our bottom sawtooth hay dog. And so the, the tip of the needle is going to come to the top of this hay dog right here. Now you can see that the outside knife is recessed from all the other inside knives. So when we take this measurement, we're taking it right here off of this knife back towards the uh, your top needle roller. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and roll this plunger back a little bit. Now you can see the needle is starting to come up right here. And we're going to try and get it as close as we can right to the very top. So right there, right there we're at the top. We'll go just a little bit more. Right there we're at the top of our, our needle is the top of our hay dog. Now we're going to take our tape measure and we're going to measure from our needle roller right there to the outside of this knife. So you can see we're at about two and a half inches. So the book says between three, three quarters of an inch to three inches. We never want to be on that three quarter inch side. This is where we want to be. Now, when we, you've got to remember that when you jump one tooth up there on your knot or drive sprocket, that is going to change your timing about two inches. So sometimes you'll find that your knife might be back here at about the three and a half inch mark. That's okay, because if you was to jump it, it's going to put you back up here a little, a little closer to the one, one and a half. And we prefer to run a little bit on the deep side than we do on the shallow side. So that's how you check your needle to your plunger timing.